the seeds we plant together. I remember my first time conceptualizing my newfound community. I was, uh, it was years ago, but I was a senior at high school, really close to graduating. I spent all that academic year doing what many seniors should be doing, wondering what is next. I know last week we celebrated our recent graduates. Congratulations. Um, and uh, it's a huge milestone. And it could be very anxious, you know, um, and I resonate with that a lot because I went through that. And all of us here also experienced something very similar or even not of graduation, but a transition into their next chapter, their next journey. Before uh, my senior year of high school, I experienced a close homie passing away. He just turned 18. Growing up, many people's lives were cut short. What happens when our community you know, you knew growing up is suffering by the day? I made a commitment to never take opportunities for granted. With everything going on, I just took the charge. Still being one of the most impactful decisions of my life, with determined decisions, I found my growing community and growing passion. I mention this story because both parables highlight the idea of gradual growth, symbolizing the growth of faith and the kingdom of God in people's lives and the world. I definitely resonate with this because every moment leading since the passing of my homie and my resurgence of taking life's opportunities reminds me of faith, faith in my family, faith in myself, and eventually faith in my community. I want to mention the story of my mother and my father's relationship with faith over time. So um, my parents are growing, well, were born and um, had a Catholic upbringing. And most recently, in the recent past decade, uh, they've become really practitioners of their faith. Um, and my mother was really the one who paved the way for my father to now today be doing the same journey as well. Um, and really, growing up, you know, their community, their established community, is thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away from here. And uh, their only community was each other themselves. Um, and then, of course, the people that share the same home but left it to start a new community here. And I mentioned this alongside that recently we started a gardening program. Shout out the young people. You might say, Aurelio, did you start the program to fulfill your self-interest of wanting to learn how to garden? Yes. But it so happens, it's also great to build community also. Attendance is very spotty, but I mean, slowly but surely, you know, it's something that's really beautiful. I mention all these anecdotes, these stories, because I think of communities as seeds. How you plant a seed and watch it take shape, form into something that blossoms over time. Growing up, my community, my established community, was really was picked off, you know, from my father's and my mother's community, if that kind of makes sense. The brown people, brown community, very beautiful. Uh, overall, just Washington State, people that I resonated and connected with because that was my family's established community. And, uh, you know, uh, overall, I think what I'm really trying to get at is community grows with intention, fostering, consistency, and commitment. When my father left off or his established community, I picked right up. And there's a long way to go, but I picked off where it was left off. And despite humans' efforts, you know, as much as each individual can do the necessary work of intention, fostering consistency and commitment, overall, ultimately, it is the community, the kingdom itself, that nurtures itself 
and no amount of human effort will outweigh the collaboration. Moving individually will not go as far as togetherness. All it really takes is leadership, faith, and trust in each other. That the seed, or I'd say the community, is able to foster. Similar to how the parables describe the kingdom of God growing very small, you know, from the mustard seed to, I uh, describe, you know, the kingdom of God growing very small, but eventually to be what it is today. The community, the seed, needs to be given all the attention and intention for it to be watered, growing, blossoming into what we appreciate today.